What are the key factors that make an excellent FPV drone for beginners? That's been on my mind for a while. Well, first, it has to fly extremely easy, safe to operate, and get rid of all the hassles of software configuration. You may wonder, is there even such a thing? Well, for 2023, Hisinji has the answer. Let's get started. Hello and welcome back to Buddy RC. This is Eddie. Today we're going to unbox and show you some of the coolest features of their first product, the Stargazer Mini Drone. Let's open up the box and see what comes in here. First, you have a beautifully printed literature about the drone itself. You have a string bag to carry your drone. Next, you have this great looking drone, transmitter, and FPV goggles. Everything is in the same color scheme and in great quality. Now, let's take a closer look by taking it out. Looking at the Stargazer itself, let's move this out of the way. It uses a 1S single cell battery. It is 86 millimeters motor to motor. All of weight is 75 grams. Although the canopy is snap-on, it remains firmly in place during a crash. I personally tested this and I'm confident in its durability. If we take off the canopy, you'll see an all-in-one flight controller protected by this plastic. Everything is solder-free using connectors throughout, including motors, camera, and antenna. Looking at the controller, the joystick's weight and balance feel perfect. The controller is also made of the high quality polycarbonate material that the drone is made out of. You can tell a lot of R&D has been put into it. It uses one 18650 cell battery and charges via the USB Type-C port. The transmitter provides haptic feedback both upon connection and when the radio signal weakens due to excessive distance. The haptic response is pleasant and enhances your situational awareness. Let's talk about the goggles. The goggles are very nice. It looks the same as the high CNG look throughout everything, the drone and the transmitter. It's powered by an 18650 battery just like the transmitter and is charged with a USB Type-C port. It also has a patch antenna in the front, which runs race band for video. The video signal is surprisingly good. We've tried it in a 10,000 square foot house with very little breakup. I've seen you work with Fat Shark on the development of these great goggles. They're absolutely very capable FPV goggles. On the side of it, there's this little port. Well, we'll have to see what it is later. The 4-in-1 dock is included in the box. It charges through a USB Type-C port and it takes about 30 minutes to charge the batteries and you get about 5 minutes of flight time with each battery. If you take a short break in between batteries and flights, you can pretty much fly all day. The flight battery is quite unique. There's no wires or connectors to mess with. Insert the battery into the battery bay and the drone powers on. There is a protection circuit built into the battery, so all you need to worry about is learning how to fly. Now before we get to the flying part, we need to download the Hisinji app. This app is a great tool to help you learn to fly. Once connected, you can customize the handling, Bluetooth name, LED color of your drone, and many more cool features of the Stargazer. It also has an achievement system built into the app. So if you're a beginner, it limits your max speed on, at first, and you gradually level up, unlocking more performance as you fly. It is truly an ingenious and fun way to get anyone into the FPV. But last but not least, Hisingi is still developing their flight controller system, and you'll be able to update your Stargazer through the Hisingi app. This means your Stargazer will stay up to date. Now that we've gone through everything, let's move on to the flying part. The flight controller has altitude assist, so the altitude is extremely easy to handle and works very well at low altitude. The stability is also quite impressive. If I let go of the sticks, it may drift a bit, but generally tuned very well out of the box. The handling is gentle and polished, 
performs great at high speed, I find myself using altitude assist mode more and more. The Stargazer is very safe. All propellers will emergency stop during a crash. If something is in one of the propellers, the drone senses the blockage and stops that motor immediately. This drone is tough as nails. We brought two Stargazers to the Dane Air Force Museum last month and had hundreds of kids trying them out. Those two Stargazers suffered from some dings and scratches, but at the end of the day, both survived the abuse and remained flyable. You might be curious how I was able to capture the FPV shots while flying. Asinji has come up with a Wi-Fi DVR system that can be directly connected to your goggles. Although it is sold separate, it's worth the investment. By using this system, you can record your FPV journey and instantly save the footage to your smartphone through the Hisinji app. This allows you to share your experiences with your friends on social media platforms such as TikTok, Instagram, and YouTube instantly. Stargazer is very easy to maintain and there are tons of replacement parts and upgrades available. Instead of simply repairing something that is broken while you're at it, you might as well upgrade it. Hisinji informed us that Stargazer is designed for the novice drone user and the cost of replacement parts will be quite reasonable, alleviating any concerns you may have about damaging it. So head out and just experience the fun of flying. Now it's time for us to bring an end to today's video. We did an unboxing of the Hisinji Stargazer Mini Drone, went over some of its key features and saw some great flight footage. Personally, I think it's a great beginner's FPV drone. It is extremely easy to fly, tough as nails, safe to operate, and comes with a great smartphone app to get rid of all the hassle you may face configuring hardcore FPV drones. Along with a stylish appearance, amazing artwork, and an interesting background story, I believe Hysinji is definitely on the right track to bring more people into the community and expand the FPV hobby. But like always, please subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, follow us on Facebook and Instagram, and see you in the next one.